announcing an exciting new opportunity for poly students, the social media team. In a mashup of magazine-style features and interview talk shows, the Poly Upper School 360 project will explore student and faculty talents and passions both inside and outside of school. The three circles in the logo represent academics, arts, and athletics, the three core prongs of the Poly experience, the dots represent the wealth of extra and co-curricular activities from GIP to debate to science Olympiad to clubs to affinity groups to community engagement to outside sports and music. Think cross between news magazine and the Oprah show without the live audience. At its heart, the project aims to foster curiosity and creativity through the publicizing of students' and teachers' pursuits of excellence in longer format pieces that go beyond the superficial fluff of achievement announcements typical of most current social media postings. So to get us in the right frame of mind, the key information in the traditional journalism format. The who. Anyone who shares an interest in relevant fields of discipline, students who might even be considering majoring in or striving for careers in these fields. The what the production of longer-form social media pieces and live coverage of events and activities. The where. Basically, everywhere. From on-campus media production spaces and interview spots, to off-campus events, competitions, and activities, to a myriad of publication venues. The when. Club meeting times for team collaboration. Individually scheduled times for recording and producing content. The why. Skill and leadership development opportunities in fostering a positive, inclusive upper school community. The opportunity to create a showcase portfolio of your work. The how. Contact the coach and attend the informational meeting. Here's a metaphor that captures the essence of the vision for the social media team. To provide layers of informational and inspirational context behind the headlines. To leave our content consumers with a thought-provoking nugget to chew on. To give everyone a taste of the vision, we present a much abbreviated practice run. The original video interview was about 10 minutes. So we can say do it like mostly just because like we love like the horses so much. It's like it's different from like a sport like where like you're on like a team with humans. It's more like you're on a team with an animal. So you have to both be able to like feel the emotions of the animal while the animal also feels your emotions. So if you're having a bad day, like the horse will also feel that you're having a bad day and it'll just impact each other. So it's a lot about like learning and growing that relationship between the two of you. And then also it's just like the adrenaline rush, like every time you end the show ring, it's like 60 seconds where you just have to perform at your best. I would say kind of going off of like Caron's lesson, it's okay to not do the best at something like the first time you try it. Um, you might have really high expectations, but sometimes it's better to just accept that learning is a gradual process and that you have to take things at your own rhythm um, without other people pressuring you to do better and without yourself keeping on pressuring yourself to do better.